Hey everyone, this is First Warren Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich with an update on our winter weather heading our way for Monday. As you probably have seen on my Facebook page or my Twitter feed or you've followed on WCNC.com, we are now under a winter storm watch. Now, a lot of people are confused because they see the amount that we're expecting just to trace to an inch of snow and maybe a trace of ice. Remember, a winter storm watch means conditions are favorable for winter weather, usually a mix. There is no criteria uh, for a specific watch. Now, if we were to go to a warning, there would be specific criteria for that. And remember, a winter weather advisory is actually an upgrade from a watch. So many of these areas will not be upgraded to a warning. Some might just be upgraded to an advisory, while others could be upgraded to a warning. But you can see all the area impacted, and this is pretty much Interstate 85 north is where we have the winter storm watches in effect. Let's take a look at the models, kind of show you how things are going to unfold here. Let's back it up to tomorrow morning. The first thing we have is obviously you notice the Arctic High sitting right over us today. There is the Arctic High, basically right there pumping in the cold air. Here comes our low pressure starting to move in this general direction. Now, what's going to happen tomorrow, especially during the afternoon, we're going to see increasing clouds as some of the high level moisture comes in first. The air here at the surface is going to be really, really dry. There's our high over the Delmarva Peninsula. And this is why this is not going to stay a winter storm the entire time. The cold air is moving out while the storm is moving in. So the initial cold air is definitely going to be deep enough and definitely cold and dry enough that the first stuff that starts to fall Monday morning, probably 2 a.m., maybe 3 a.m., it could take a while because it's so dry, some of this stuff is going to basically call what we call sublimate or evaporate before it reaches the ground. So it might take until about 4, 5, 6 in the morning on, on Monday. So this is 7 a.m. You can see a snow-sleet mix, and snow and sleet is definitely going to be how this starts. But at some point, the low is going to get close enough that it's going to overwhelm the warm air. And people are saying, well, why isn't this going to stay all snow? Well, look at where our Arctic high is. It's now off the east coast. So the supply of cold air is no longer there. If the high was over here or even here, it would be able to pump in cold air. But because it's over here, we're getting a flow off the Atlantic. We're not getting a flow over land or really cold air. So eventually, based on this setup, and all the models show this, even the really biased and cold uh, Canadian model, it shows the same position of the high and low. It just has a cold bias and tends to make things snow and ice when in reality it ends up being a more liquid in, in precip. So this is through about lunchtime. We start to see a little bit of freezing rain. There will be a period of freezing rain, and this to me is the biggest monkey wrencher concern, that this stays freezing rain a couple more hours longer. This is 1 o'clock, and you notice the rain starts mixing in, and this becomes mainly freezing rain across just about all areas of the Piedmont into the foothills. Then by about 3 or 4 o'clock, it starts to change to rain. But the area that we see the cold air hold on the longest, right in here, is probably where we'll see ice. This could actually change the rain in the mountains, believe it or not, and stay ice here across Interstate 40. So if I'm, I'm the most concerning location for me right now is that Morganton to Hickory to Statesville to Greensboro area because I think it could stay ice for a while. By 7 p.m., it still could be ice around Hickory and Statesville, but all rain in Charlotte. And by the time we get into 2, 3 in the morning, it becomes rain everywhere even in the mountains. So conditions should improve as the day goes on. Now, the models do often underestimate the amount of cold air, so it could stay colder for a while, but it's not going to stay cold forever because look at the high. Again, this is the key to all this and why people are, I think this is not going to stay cold air. The high is way out here over the Atlantic. That is not the ideal position. You can't resupply the cold air. Eventually, as the low comes east, it's going to overwhelm that cold air at the surface and it becomes basically all rain. So here's my forecast maps. I'm kind of sticking to my guns with the snow and sleet maps. I think we're looking at a trace to an inch around Charlotte South, one to two in here, and this could be a lot of sleet. If we're gonna see sleet and snow accumulate, and this might be a little high, I think eight is probably the high end of this. I actually think probably two to six range is probably more legitimate. As far as ice is concerned, I am growing a little bit more wary and a little bit more concerned of this area. Burke County, Caldwell County, Northern Catawba County, Northern Iredell, Alexander, Wilkes County, and even probably the eastern facing slopes of the mountains. So really these are the areas of biggest concern, biggest impact right in here. And across the Charlotte area, this is going to be a Monday morning commute nightmare as far as road conditions. 
but as we go through the day, conditions should improve. So that's what I'm thinking right now. Of course, we'll keep things up to date throughout the weekend. If anything should change, make sure you stay tuned to my Facebook and Twitter feed. I'll keep things up to date as we get closer to this winter storm, but count on timing. Monday morning is going to be a mess, but by Monday afternoon, actually should see rapid improvement south of Interstate 40. And again, the area biggest concern, I would be preparing for a significant winter storm in these areas right here. Um, this is where we'll see the significant snow and then ice, but then eventually rain. But it'll be enough snow and ice that we could have some significant uh, road issues and power line and tree issues. So stay tuned to the First Horn Storm Team. We'll keep you up to date as we get closer to this major winter storm.